Kairate. My name is Darius, and welcome to the world that was. This week, I'll be taking a quick look at a Byzantine baked cheesecake. One that's quick, simple, and very tasty. It seems to be based on an earlier Greek recipe for a baked cheesecake, but was adapted to suit the changing tastes of medieval Byzantine elite cuisine. In any case, let's now take a look at the world that was. To begin with, we need to place our cheese in a bowl. I used ricotta here because it has a very good texture and is widely available, but other soft Greek cheeses would work well, such as mezithra or anthotiro. Into this, pour 150 grams worth of honey and whisk it well. Crack an egg one at a time into the bowl, whisking it until it's well combined before adding two more. Chicken eggs would have been used in this period, along with wildfowl and pigeon eggs. So you have a choice of eggs to use here if you happen to have any of those. Finally, to thicken the mixture up a little bit, add a tablespoon or two of flour into the mix, whisking together as you go. I use plain wheat flour, which has a lower bran content than what would have been used in late antiquity, but it results in a much smoother, finer cake when you're finished. Now, preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius, or 356 degrees Fahrenheit, while you pour your mixture into a tin. Be sure to grease your baking tin before you pour in your batter, which should be silky smooth as you're pouring it in. Smooth out the top and place it into the middle of your preheated oven. Let this bake away for about 40 to 50 minutes, depending on your oven. It should be done when the top of your cake has turned a lovely golden color and the center of the cake doesn't jiggle when you wiggle it. The top of it will slowly fall down while it's cooling, but don't worry, that's what's going to happen. Let the cake cool for about 5 minutes in the pan before you try and take it out and top it. When it's cooled slightly, pour some more honey over the top, along with some ground cinnamon. Cinnamon would have been used by the elites of Byzantine society, as they would have had much more access to expensive spices than most of Western Europe, given the Byzantine Empire's proximity to the spice trade of the Near and Middle East. In any case, serve up warm and dig in. The finished cheesecake is deliciously light and fluffy and has a wonderful texture. It's not too sweet, and the combination of honey and cinnamon really goes well together with the cheese. The original recipe seemingly dates back to the Greek Iron Age, where Athenaeus records that a similar baked cheesecake was made on the island of Sifnos, in the Cycladic Isles. Though that cake didn't include cinnamon, it instead made use of olive oil and bay leaves. In any case, I hope you all enjoyed this quick look at the world that was. If you like what you saw, Please consider leaving a like on this video, or possibly even subscribing to my channel for some more ancient recipes.